Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 77, and i got to find a way to put the rundown sheet a little more uh, useful. Some place that I can actually see it and reference it, because I, I keep doing that. I look over, and I'm like, alright, time to start episode 77. Hello, hello, and it's time to start the number that I forgot. I only got to remember six of them. Alright. <laughs> okay. All right. All that aside, we uh, we made our way through Goto's yacht. We got Go to a droid with a suspiciously similar name. We'll have to have a talk with him. He's over on the Ebon Hawk, and we've got a couple of loose ends to to tie up. We got we got a little more motive on our lost Jedi, but we're not going to make any more progress on that until we unite all the Jedi Masters. So that's going to be kind of one of those ongoing things. We still got to talk to uh somebody about uh otis one of the one of the war veterans that asked us for help and we said we'd help him same thing for the seeking for passage and we got to do something about the new trade routes but that's going to be a long ongoing thing because i i gotta i won't be able i need to go to Andoran and dantooine before i can do anything else about that so well that's back burner That'll be happening as we go. I do want to go to Voga's Horde. And uh, I think now that Godo's taken care of, or the yacht's been taken care of, we can uh, do something about this uh, f new fuel source. So let's do that first. Uh, let's get the Handmaiden. And who else do I want... Um, I need to get Viz's out. Okay. Hey, they need to level up. How convenient. I probably need to arm them too, so let's level up. Let's go skills and, oh my, uh, she's probably got a lot of leveling up to do. I might be doing that for most of this episode. All right. She's got all three skill points, so... And it looks like all she's got is treat injury, stealth, and awareness. She is not going to be my primary anything on any of these skills. So let's just go ahead and keep bumping up those three skills. Because treat injury she can use in combat. Awareness she can use while she's in the party. And stealth, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Feats. Uh, she is already starting down the two weapon fighting. So... We can definitely continue two-weapon fighting to improved two-weapon fighting. Uh, we got a few other options. We might even want to get a light weapon proficiency, or light armor proficiency on her. Although I ha I've only found the one set of armor that is technically armor that force users can use. So maybe not. Uh, yeah, you know what? Out of all the other options that I've got... I think uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, at least bump up the two weapon fighting and then the the flurry. So let's do the improved two weapon fighting. Okay, and powers. She doesn't have a lot of powers. She doesn't have a lot of options either. Um, and I'm gonna try to get her to the light side. So there's a lot of these dark side powers that. They're not going to come and do much handy. No, for much longer. Um, oh, <laughs> she's got Dominate Mind. Of course she does. Uh, energy Resistance. Uh, Alright. I've already got the Force Valor going. Let's go ahead and get her into the Force. Oh no. Uh, or do I want Heal? It never hurts to have more people with heals around, so let's go ahead and add uh, heal for the moment. And accept. Oh yeah, she's level 7. We got a little bit of leveling up to do. Alright, she is high dex, low strength, and we... Hmm. Alright. My charisma increases the potency of characters' force powers and reduces the penalty. Okay. All right, so let's bump up Charisma because that is going to lessen the penalty of using some of her dark side powers as we move her to the light and can improve Companion's chance to hit. 
Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. And skills, we're doing the same three skills. Okay. And powers. This time, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, force aura. All right. And accept and level up and skills repeat feats uh let's master two weapon first and then we'll do flurry next okay powers uh let's get her the next energy resistance okay and let's level her up uh i've still got i've still got about half a cup um ooh, unarmed specialist three all right let's bump these skills up again and let's go ahead and bump up the force shield although i do want to get that line going too all right accept and level up and skills same three skills uh new lightsaber form now let's uh yeah let's do the force whirlwind okay level up now here's where it gets interesting um i think i as much as i'd really like to get her strength up that con of 12 deeply, deeply concerns me. So let's go ahead and start bumping that up to at least 14. Uh, skills, same three skills. Okay. Beats, a left and a right. Oh, no. Uh, now we can do our Master Flurry, which satisfy, satisfies a lot of what I'm trying to do with that. Um, okay. Powers, a new lightsaber form. Yay! Uh, Alright, so she can't do the force wave yet. Uh, I don't... Man, that's a dark side power, so... Maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> choke. <laughs> but it's the good kind of choke. Alright? Isn't that how the... No, that's not how that works. No. Oh. Uh, let's, let, yeah, we're probably going to get another power, so we'll do the, the force armor after that. In the meantime, let's do the improved heal. Okay. And accept, and we still got a couple more levels to go. Yeah, I think this is going to be the whole episode is leveling the party up. <laughs> Sorry. But I want to show off decision making because you may be looking at this and go, oh, man, why'd you do? No, no, you shouldn't have. Um, and you might be right. You're probably right. Let's be honest. You, you're highly likely to be right. Um, all right. So she's got the two weapon. I might do the, the light armor proficiency just because that at least opens up a couple of options for some of the some of the gloves and the headgear, I think, also required light armor proficiency. Um, caution doesn't really help her that much. Empathy definitely doesn't help her. Gear, no, she's not doing any of that stuff. Conditioning, conditioning is always an option. So is power attack. I don't, I don't have a lot of people up on power attack. Uh, I'm not going to bother with any of the blaster or anything except maybe to get her to the weapons focus blaster pistols, just so that way I can give her a couple blaster pistols and, uh, that way, if she's ever going to do any distance work, we got that covered. Um, although, since she is high dex, low strength, I might go ahead and give her the uh, finesse lightsaber. Yeah, I'll give her the finesse lightsaber. Okay. Because she is super high on dex and super low on strength. All right, force channel. Ooh. All right, and let's do the force armor. Okay, add the power, there we go. And accept, and another level up, unarmed specialist, and skills. 
Same ones. She doesn't have a wide variety of skills, but what she has, she does well. Alright, let's go ahead and get the Master Energy. Oh, I can't do the Master Energy yet. Ah, uh, because she's not high enough level. Okay, I can't do the Master Heal yet. Um, Can't do the Force Wave yet. What can I do? I mean, I could always do uh, the next level of Force Lightning. I mean, she's already got the skill. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. I'm just saying, it's the good lightning. We've seen that. That's got to be in a canon somewhere. Maybe not Disney canon, but I'm sure. I'm sure some good person has zapped an enemy to death for their own good. We're out here. Okay, <laughs> and level up. And skills, same ones, feats. Um, that begs the question, do I want to add the finesse for melee weapons? As much as I really like that idea because it would help right now, the goal is to get her a set of lightsabers or a double-bladed lightsaber, either one. And at that point, she wouldn't really need, she would never need the finesse melee weapons ever again. And that's kind of a, the, a waste of a feat. Uh, so, what I might do is I might go ahead and either give her toughness, because she doesn't have a whole lot of vitality points. And, and that, that is slightly important for somebody to be up front, you know, swinging sabers. Just saying. Uh, or I could start on her power attack line. Uh, or I get her the light armor proficiency. Let's do the light armor proficiency. Because again, there, there there's uh, visors that we've already seen that require light armor proficiency and other stuff like that. That doesn't interfere with uh, force power use, but um, does require light armor proficiency. And powers, we can... Oh. oh, we can max out that uh, force wave. Yes, please. Okay. And accept. And <laughs> level up again. Attributes. Let's uh, bring constitution up one more. That gets us that plus two. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll stay there or not. Same three skills. Okay. And powers. I still can't get her the master heal. Eh, she's not there yet. I can't get her the master energy resistance. She's not there yet. Uh, we've already done the wave. Uh, we can't do the force storm, which kind of would be nice. Uh, I mean, we could always move up the, the, the wound tree. Yeah, let, let's... Sure. Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Except. It's the good kind of wound. Just practice that bloodletting. She promises. It's perfectly safe. Alright, powers. And now! Now we can get Master Energy Resistance. So, there we go. And accept. And that's it. She's leveled up. Sweet. Now we need... Oh! Oh, that's right. I haven't leveled her up yet because she's still a soldier and I haven't had a chance to convert her to Jedi. That's why she's stuck at level six. So stuck at level six, she will remain until I can get her to be a Jedi. And I notice a lack of weapons in Viz's hands. Oh, because all she has are the robes she's wearing. Um... And she brought Dark Jedi Knight robes. Uh, defense bonus two, regen force points. Let's let's get you let's get you some actual like Jedi Knight robes. There we go. All right. Uh, we need to get you either your all all the two weapons. Uh, we got the double bladed sword, two to twelve. And shock staff, two to twelve, and a chance to stun. That's that's not a bad idea. All right, 
Uh, I'll look into the firearms later. Let's what, what kind of belts we got? Demolitions, utility, no damage immunity. Eh. Wisdom, wisdom's always nice. Let's do the multi shield generator. Uh, that that'll work. Uh, we want to get you an energy shield and a Mandalorian melee shield. And we want to get you... Reflex is nice. That pheromone package I'm keeping for when I go running around talking and doing that kind of stuff. Con wouldn't be bad. Strength wouldn't be bad. Regen. Hmm. She doesn't have anything that gives her regen, so let's go ahead and do that. That seems smart. Alright, so we got all saves and a plus one to dex. Plus two to dex, although dex is her high skill, and she's not using computer use or security. Uh, that would give her the weapons focus for the blasters, and then she could actually use them. Uh, let's go with the, the gauntlets. And she can't wear either one of those, because she's probably missing a prereq or something like that. All right, and she's got the Handmaiden Staff. I never did get around, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, because uh, she's also got a Reflex Package, Neural Band, Infiltrator Gloves. Okay, there we go. Everybody is armed now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over to Voga the Hut. We're going to get uh, whoever will dance, dance. Oh, yep, yeah, no, there you guys are. We gotta take care of that soon, too. Uh, that's empty. That's empty. You know, I'm not even gonna bother double checking. Because the rest of those are almost certainly empty, too. What I need to do is I need. Oh! Unnecessary <sighs> observation. Guys, Targets seriously. Acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to More of you guys? No, bring no. about the termination of hostilities. Doggone it. Alright, now I'm mad. Master Valor. And another one of those, and then we'll get a flurry in. Oh. Yeah, let's get a couple of heals in there. Yeah, you guys are about to go. Z zap them. One more time. Done. Or serious. Really, one of you has some parts, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Droid deflector, carbonite projector. HK droid process. Although I thought I already had a droid processor. I, I guess, I guess I can break the extras down for parts. Okay. <laughs> Let's. Uh, you know what? On the off chance we run into somebody else that we didn't intend to, let's go ahead and save. Because I, I was not expecting those guys, and I really should have. At every major opportunity, there's been another pack of HK droids, and they're just as annoying as they've always been. Let's go talk to Fasa, because, uh... You are interrupting me for a reason? Yes, I'm interrupting you for I a reason. I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? Alright, could you help transport a family to Telos? What? Do I look like a passenger ship to you? You don't want me to answer that question. You help me. I help you. All right. All right. Um. Yes. Let's complete that Fine. quest. I do for you, but don't ask of Fasa again. Uh, what else? I hate to tell you this, but uh, I'm going to be asking of you again. Do you have any need for pilots? Now that freighters can depart safely, I can use a good pilot. All right. Uh, the refugee Otis will work for you for sponsorship. Yes, I can do this. Good. I'll send someone for him. 
All right, there we go. And I think that knocked out most of our quests. Yeah, we got the Lost Jedi, the trade routes, we got the Horde, and... Yep, okay, sweet. We got light side points. I think we got influence on some people. Probably, maybe. Let's, uh... Although... I'm wondering, is there any point in breaking into the hole? Have we not already uh, gone through the warehouse? Or is the horde a different door that we uh, we haven't gone into yet? Oh yeah, I don't think we've been through that door or that door. All right, so let's do this. What? My master is currently resting. Oh, 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 that's right. He's still resting from the last time we danced. Um, wow. He, he takes a while. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't wake him yet. Don't wake him yet. We're, we're just going to go over here and uh, fill, fill up the jug with water. Yeah, it's water. Or in the Juma Juice. Do -do 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 -do. Don't mind us. Nighty night. Are we seriously going to do this with her just standing there? Journal entry added. Oh, probably because we've now finished uh, Vagazuts. Vagazuts, Vagas Horde. <laughs> the Hut Horde. Ah. Alright, what do we got in this little horde over here? We got a metal box that has a GAN silencer repair kit and 132 bucks. I thought this was a Hut's Horde. 132 bucks? Come on. Somebody shake his couch cushion out or something. Alright, what's in this box? We got a battle simulator and another 57 bucks. So now we're up to like, what, 200 and some odd bucks? I thought this was a hut. I thought they had money. Are they not supposed to have money? What kind of horde has 200 bucks? Ooh. I will take the short lightsaber though. And some stamina and some credits. And you know what? I, I'm I'm okay with the... Alright, we got us a short lightsaber. Uh, I'm going to give it to one of my flurrying people at some point, or one of my two weapon people at some point. Um, have we been through this low security door? Okay, this appears to just be... Yeah. Orders. They go nowhere. Alright. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. Just in case this goes sideways. Alright, let's ask her to wake him. Oh, she ignores you. Alright, yep. Uh, please wake him for me. You sound awful. Idiot girl. <laughs> what could be more important than... Yeah, I'm not irritating you, Cathans. They're also taking a nap. Alright, um... I don't take orders from Pompa Slugs. Forget it, I'll be going now. Tell me about the hijackings. Can you tell me about Goto? I wanted to know about the exchange. Let's, uh... Yeah... I think I know the answer to this question. I do not speak... Okay. Uh. Okay. What has Goto done to you? Yeah, no, I know, I know. Get, get to the part where I can actually, you know, tell you that it's free to start trading now. 
If you'll actually shut up and listen, um... If I can take care of Goto... <laughs> A fair deal for Telos. <laughs> yeah. Did a hut just tell me he only makes fair deals? Come on. I don't buy that. I don't buy that for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I I still have to technically deal with Goto. Uh Alright. I'll be going now. Because apparently I'm not technically done with Goto until I get back to my ship, maybe? Or is this because we still got the whole horde thing going? Alright, either way, let me get back to my ship and uh, then we'll go from there. Because that, that is everybody else all set and taken care of. Let's, uh, let's get back to the ship. Actually, you know what? Since getting back to the ship is probably going to trigger another quest. Let's, uh, let's cut this right here and then we'll come back for one more episode on the live stream. Or tomorrow's episode if you're on YouTube. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.